the 11th round, 236 for Simone Malagrotu, the 145th in the career of Rendell Munro. Is he the improver? Is he the man on the way up? He certainly is in the course of this fight. Both experienced over the 12 round distance. Malagrotu has gone eight times, Munro five. Well, in a tough battle like this, it does help. Just makes you dig in that little bit deeper. But I don't think we can ask Rendell Monroe to dig any deeper than he has done. Stop action, non stop punching every round. This is, I like to see when Monroe gives himself some room again. Oh, good luck from Aladrotto. From Aladrotto in a combination. From the Italian, Munro shakes it off. That terrific chin he possesses, he needed it there. How have they got the energy to do this late on? They were doing it in the first round. There's been a tremendous pace. Blood coming again from Munro's injury. They shout here at the Harvey Haddon. Malagrotti finding some accuracy in the 11th. I mean, all you can do at this stage is just bite on the gum shield and just keep pumping the punches out. It's not about tactics any longer. Good left hand from Monroe. Just when you think Maladron is about to backpedal, he comes back with his own. They fought like warriors tonight, these two. And Roe still able to keep digging in with these punches. Just coming out with that little extra bit. Of what when it counts. Finishing the 11th, strongly Munro. Back comes Malagrotti. <laughs> Terrific stuff. So that was Samba. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go into that. You just lost that. Oh. Yeah. So on the last stand. Right. You've oh. got one this man now. Yeah. yeah. Right. You've got to pick it up big style. Yeah. It's got to be all over. Man. Yeah, all or nothing. Okay. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Drink. Absolutely non-stop. Absolutely non-stop. Oh. Come yeah. back absolutely shattered. shattered. Yeah. Well, you've got to go and hammer him non-stop, man. Okay. You cannot stop. Okay. Just do it for yourself now. All right. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Get out of there. Yeah, man. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. And I mean all or nothing. Yeah. Interesting insight there. Jason Shinfield thinks it's level. I think they just know it's close, Adam. They're just sending them out. Every round's going to count here because there's so many rounds, but it's so difficult to split them. They just know it's close. And they go straight at it again for the final session. Who needs it more? I have them no turning all the way around. I have them two points up here. But so many of those rounds has been like the action we're looking at now, non-stop, so difficult to split. Judges from Montenegro, Denmark and France. The Maladrotta getting that contentious decision over Damien Kelly. We don't know how the three European judges have it. But the fight has swung towards Munro in the second half. Maladrotta finding strength in these punches now though. Monroe still pushing them back, but no real snap in his own shots. Both real family men too. Wendell's girlfriend and one of his sons at ringside tonight. They 
could ask, have asked of no more from their man and their champion. Will it be enough? Munro is pushing himself onto Maladrotti, but not really getting the punches out. Maladrotti is still able to get some punches out up close. There he goes again. Munro trying to smother him, but Maladrotti getting home with some clean shots. Munro not finding the target, punching round the side, catching the elbows. Walking on to shots. Good punching from Maladrotti there. He knows he might need this, he might need more Maladrotti away from home and the challenger. Yep, I don't think Munro has a lot left, he's just pushing himself forward here, just trying to stop Maladrotti from working. But no real quality in what he's doing, walking on to punches there. It's amazing either of them have got anything left, but still the pace. Smashing fight, last 30 seconds, Malajotti turns, Munro and backs him up. This is a good round, a good finish from the Italian. Tremendous round from Malajotti, he came out as though he just saved a little bit in the tank. He's looked strong in the last round, but as Munro's just kind of driving himself forward, trying to nullify the Italian's work. Again, walking on to punches. Tremendous round from Aljadrotu in the 12th here. An enthralling, grueling 12-round championship fight for the European Super Bantamweight title. Both hold their arms aloft and they embrace. What a terrific fight. It might be very close. Who will get it? Well, so many rounds, non-stop punching, you just have to see it. This is Dan Allen, like. Randall Munro and Annalisha, his girlfriend. Munro believes he has it. Is the title staying in the Midlands? How many punches they threw? Almost a thousand each. Fabulous. Well, it was just non-stop action from start to finish. And amazingly, don't think we saw a clinch. I don't think the referee had to call break once. Tremendous fight. I thought Monroe would have made use of the South Post stance in the early stages, but he didn't. He got right down to work, and I think that suited Malu Draw to. I had Malu Draw to move it into a lead in the early stages of the fight. Monroe, as you can see, landing good body shots. But this kind of fighting suited Malu Draw to, especially in the early stages when he was strong. Monroe walking on to shots, beautiful uppercut there from Aljadrotto, but this was the action all the way through, so difficult to split, but Monroe in the second half of the fight was able to impose himself and on my card start turning things around, just did that little bit extra work up close, just kept pumping the punches, not always great quality of shots, but this is where he turned things around, just seems to have the last one. Made himself some space in some of the rounds, producing the quality of work. Turned it around, I had him ahead at this stage, and then Mahmoudi Drotu came out for a tremendous 12th round. Just seemed to find a little bit of energy left in the tank. They had to use that tremendous battle. That happened with one point up, 115, 114, but you could not argue whatever way this goes. Every round was close. I've got Munro by two. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 pulsating rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Predrag Alexis scores it 116 points to 112. Jan Christensen scores it 115 points to 113. And Judge Noel Monet scores it 116 points to 112. For your winner by unanimous decision. And still, European Super Battle World Champion from Leicester, Randall Tuto Munro! You must be the, uh, elated. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely, obviously. 
I, I worked really, really hard in there. Obviously, like I say, one of the hardest fights I've had up to now. And obviously, I proved that I was game enough to do it. Obviously, that's why in the ring I broke down in there because I worked hard. I thought it was a bit closer than what it was, but obviously, they had me running away by five rounds, something like that. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, man, I worked hard for that. And like a lot of people back home realize when I'm out there running all hours in the morning, running all hours at night, and doing what I need to do. And obviously, like I say, I'm always reaping the benefits, and I've, I've worked hard, and I'm, I'm seeing things. Now, you say you look like the elephant man. I'll <laughs> I'll say, yeah. But, uh, I mean, you hurt him as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, obviously, like I said, I think he, he was tough. He was very, very tough. I think at times he looked like he was going to give in and then he sort of, like, charged back up again, you know what I mean? Obviously, like I say, they said that he was going to be a man who was going to... He was going to keep coming back, and he did keep coming back, and I give him his dues. He was game, and he was up for it. And like I said, I think it was all like down to the, obviously the sparring I had. Obviously, I sparred with Jason Booth. I sparred with Joe Murray. I sparred with um, Paul Academus. I sparred with um, Troy Smith. I think he was one of, one of Barry McGuigan's lads. You know what I mean? So I had an all mixed round sparring and, and things like that. And obviously, when you've got a trainer like Jason Shinfield, yes, Jason Shinfield, you get me? He puts, he puts you through your paces. He's one of them ones where you're dying and he's like, you're all right, keep going. I'm saying, I'm not. He says, you are, keep going. <laughs> so obviously, all them benefits there when it comes to a hard fight, you, you, you see them things. And, and another big major fact for me is the fans out there. You know what I mean? It's nice when you hear the calls, but you know when the bell goes and you turn around and you see all the Ivy's vests out there and, and you think, you know what, all these are for me, man. We've got to go. We've got to keep going. We've got to keep pressing. And You know what I mean? I give big thanks to all the, all the fans out there and everybody out there who's helping me. You know what I mean?